This is Anne Off Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm in Withenshaw and I'm joined by Sam Hyde, as I said here in Withenshaw, ahead of his bout with Dion Juma on Sunday day uh, for the English Cruiserweight title and a British final eliminator title fight. Sam, first and foremost, how are you doing? Yeah, very good, mate. Fight week's here. Um, it's felt like the camp's gone on forever, um, so this is, this is what I've been waiting for. I mean, it's just what you've been waiting for. How does it feel going into a, a bit more of a meaningful fight instead of the tickovers you've had since the defeat to Richard Rettpool? Yeah, see, see the, the, the thing with it all, I always, um, whenever I'm in camp, I might not know exactly what fight I've got coming up. Um, so I always have in my head there could be something big happening, like Joe's always sorting things out and I know he's always working behind the scenes. So I'm always prepared in case there's something that he's planning, you know, so it's never like I'm like, oh, I'm fighting this guy in a six rounder. It, that's never, if things don't materialise with other things, then we may have that fight just to get out. But I'm in training for the big fights all the time. So, um, but the, the fact that I knew, you know, the board made the fight, I know who I'm fighting, I know what, what he's like, I can see videos and I can just work for a full camp. That's, that's been great, yeah. You've seen the difficulties your cat mate Jose Burton's had over the last couple of years to find himself a meaningful fight. Now he's obviously in the Golden Contract Tournament. When you look at what's happened with him, what type of experience do you take away from it when you were trying to kind of hang around waiting for the right opportunity to come along? Yeah, you've just got to take, take it as it comes and know that boxing doesn't just give you give you anything. You know, it's uh, you see some may, may be considered more fortunate than others in opportunities they get, but I just take any opportunity I'm uh, in front of me. Let's talk about this opportunity. Dion Juma, just talking about what you've been looking at with regards to him and what should we expect come Sunday? Yeah, well, first thing, obviously, is Southpaw. So we've brought in Southpaw sparring, and Joe has, and we've been travelling around for um, quality sparring, and I've been pushed to my limits, and I'm, you know, raring to go. Are you feeling any added pressure, not know, also knowing the fact that he's a fine eliminator for that British title and what could be around the corner if he was to be successful on Sunday? No, not at all. If you look at if you look at the British the rankings that come out, there Joe Juma, Juma, I think it's number three. So I, I some some of them I've not even made the top ten. So all the pressure's on Dion. He's got he, he's coming here to lose something. As in, obviously he doesn't think he's going to lose, but um, I'm coming here just to win, just to get a title. You know. And because I've, I've not got anything, I'm coming for it. So um, I think it's completely kind of um, pressure on him more more than me. So is it a fight that you can anticipate going the, the, the distance then? Well, potentially. But when when two big lads start letting their hands go, you never know. So, um, but I'm I'm ready for. 12, whatever it is, hard, hard rounds, if that's what it was going to be, but I'm ready. I'm ready. You say that when you're two big lads start letting their hands go, in the cruise weight and heavyweight divisions, people kind of, the fans will want to see the, the knockouts, they want to see something that they will remember. Is that something that you kind of become accustomed to, something that you may feel like you have to live up to on Sunday? No, not at all, not at all. The only thing I'm I'm coming here Sunday for us to win that English title. That's it. That's um, let, you know I'm going to let my hands go. I'm going to let my, what we've been working on. Um, I'm, I'm not leaving anything um, in the changing rooms. It's being left in that ring. Trust me. Now Dion obviously not turning up today. What was your thoughts on that? Yeah, he's just obviously it must be logistic reasons. He can't get down from London or whatever. I'm not asked. I'm not. I mean, I'm a fighting. I'm a fighter. I just love fighting. He's. Now, as I've mentioned, this obviously goes on to be that final eliminator for the belt which Richard Riakpour holds. How keen are you and how much would it mean to you to get another opportunity to face him on the back of the defeat you had first on round, which was down to your eye injury? Yeah, like, like I said on other interviews, um, it won't, you know, it's not like I'm just gunning Riakpour. It's just the fact he was the one who paused it. So to get a revenge and to get um, British title while I'm doing it, be unbelievable, yeah. Well, Sam, before I let you shoot off, I'll leave a final word to yourself. What would you like to say to everybody ahead of Sunday? Yeah, no, thank you to everyone who's bought tickets, sold out, so, you know, they flew out and everyone's excited as, as I am for this Sunday. So. Well, Sam, hard as always, it's a pleasure. Thanks for speaking to myself yeah. on Boxing Social. Thank you. Thanks.